When you think about the greatest forehand of all time, then who pops into your head first? To be honest, this list wasn't that hard to make because 4 out of the 5 names on this list are definitely top 5 to me. There is only one spot on the list about which I had to think about who to put there and who it should be. What's up folks, my name is Tonel and today I am going to rank the greatest forehands in men's tennis history. Obviously it's really hard to compare shots regarding the whole tennis history and eras. Without a doubt it makes the list even more subjective, but I'm going to give it a shot. In addition, it's quite difficult to use some data to decide on the greatest forehands of all time. This means that I'm just going to talk about men who in my opinion really dominated with their forehand, who were effective with it and who thanks to their forehand won a lot of matches. Remember, it's not only about the speed of the shot, it's also about how effective the shot is. Alright, let's get started. Number 5. Ivan Lendl The Terminator, who is also referred to as the father of the inside out forehand, had a game that was built around, you guessed it, his forehand. As many tennis fans know, Lendl was the pioneer of aggressive baseline power tennis. The Czech American dictated from the back of the court with his hard and heavy topspin forehand. In addition to the inside out one, his trademark shot was also a running forehand, which he was able to hit quite equally well both down the line and cross court. Lendl's forehand is a big reason why he was ranked world number one in singles for 270 weeks and won 8 major singles titles. Number 4. Fernando Gonzalez The great Gonzo forehand obviously made the list. During his prime, Gonzalez definitely had one of the greatest forehands in tennis. I guess many of you remember that famous run to the Australian Open final in 2007, where he just dominated rallies with his forehand and constructed the points so well with that shot. He didn't hit his every forehand as hard as he could, but when he did, the point was often over. Gonzo had the ability to do basically anything with his forehands. He had a great topspin forehand and he also flattened it out if needed or when he had the chance. Inside out, inside in, down the line, returns, you name it. The Chilean was able to blast them all with his awesome forehand. Gonzalez also had one of the fastest forehands ever. Number 3. Juan Martin del Potro God, how I miss the gentle giant. When I think about Del Potro's forehand, the first thing I remember is that legendary US Open final versus Federer. There, his forehand was in full swing. I remember vividly those two massive cross court winners that were probably around 110 miles per hour. Similarly to Gonzo, the Argentine wasn't a sea ball hit winner player, but also used his relatively flat forehand well to construct points. And when the opportunity arrived to hit it really hard, he did it very efficiently and got many vows from the crowd. During his prime, he definitely developed a forehand that was feared throughout the game. Actually, to me, it was a toss-up between Gonzo and Del Potro for the third spot, but I just gave the edge to the Argentine here, mainly because of that US Open title run where his forehand played a huge part. By the way, there's a chance we will see that famous forehand again at this year's US Open. Wouldn't it be awesome? Number 2. Rafa Nadal Maybe some of you don't know, but Rafa isn't a natural left-hander. That's what makes his forehand even more remarkable. When people talk about Nadal's forehand, they often mention the highest rate of RPMs, decent depth and precision, extremely heavy topspin and his lasso swing. To a casual tennis fan, Rafa's forehand may not seem like an offensive shot, but especially on clay it definitely is because of the mentioned aspects. Rafa also has the ability to flatten it out and hit it really hard, although yeah, he doesn't do it that often. 
Anyway, to me, the three main components of Rafa's amazing success on clay are his mental strength, his movement and footwork, and his forehands. The latter one he has used extremely well to wear opponents down and maneuver them from side to side. And since more than half of the players have a stronger forehand than their backhand, Nadal has dismantled the backhands of many with his heavy forehand. Obviously Federer is a great example here. Anyway, let's just enjoy the King of Clay while we can. Number 1. Roger Federer Roger, who understandably is still the goat to many, didn't have the most powerful forehand. He also didn't have Nadal-esque heavy spin on his shots. But still, at least to me, his forehand is the greatest ever. Federer was an all-around player, but forehand was definitely one of his go-to weapons. I agree that regarding forehands, it's a close call between him and Rafa. But I feel like the maestro depended more on his forehand working well than Nadal. And most of the time, it worked brilliantly for the Swiss. At times, it all just seemed so easy for him and it felt like he hit forehand winners at will. Federer also didn't make that many mistakes with his rather flat forehand even though he was very aggressive with that majestic shot. In addition, he had one of the best forehand drop shots ever. Overall, Roger mixed the game with his forehand effortlessly. So that was my top 5 and here are some honorable mentions. For example, initially I had Sampras ranked 5th on the list, but in the end decided in the favor of Lendl. One thing's for sure, Sampras's running forehand is definitely top 5. Anyway, do you agree with my list or would you change something? Let me know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.